quasi Kamera 1 ist links, Kamera 2 ist die Lead-Kamera und Kamera 3 ist rechts und das heißt, wenn ein Tor links fällt, wird ein Icon auf Slow Motion 1, 6 Sekunden und dann springt er automatisch zurück in die Position. So, und jetzt gehen wir ein Lead Display an.
Right. Yes. Can you hear us? Oh, okay. So, I'm not sure if, I think the, okay, we had some issues with the microphone. Uh, now we're also back on with commentating this game. Um, so, welcome to uh, this game so far. <laughs> I, I was talking all the time at the moment, but it seems like the microphone wasn't properly switched on. So, um, <laughs> welcome to this uh, game in Group A of the European Rocket Club Championships 2022. We have Team Sweden, uh, Team Finland facing Team Sweden um, from what will probably be the decisive game of first place in Group A of these round robin games. Um, so Finland, one man down with a delay of, pay, uh, delay of game penalty by Jano Altonen and Sweden now able with, um, with about 18 seconds left in the penalty maybe to be able to get off a shot. Um, so um, so uh, now we're still looking to see our first goal, uh, but I mean, as expected, so there's a delayed penalty, which I, I believe will be a holding call on Finland, number 71. Um, so although they saved the game, well, we can have again a, sh a look at the shot, but there's no, no problems for the Finnish goaltender here. And so we're still trying to figure out some minor technical issues here on the live stream, trying to give you the best possible stream. Um, so Sweden not able to connect there on the shot. Yeah. Uh, and we have the first score of the game. First score of the game from Finland. Number nine, Jarno Altonen. Um, with a good, good shot there. So now the wind is taken up a little bit here at the arena, but still good conditions. Stopped raining about an hour ago. And so Sweden still man up. So that was a score from Finland on man down. We have about 50 seconds left in the power play. Finland now able to clear the ball off bench and they'll try to kill as much time as possible from the sh uh, penalty. So 40 seconds left in the penalty with roughly 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Um, so Finland taking the shot wide, reset, hitting the goaltender. So if they, yeah, they retain possession, so they'll be able to kill the full rest of the 20 seconds in the penalty. So they'll probably just keep the ball up top and then bring it low in the corner, not allowing any kind of nasty transition discoveries there from the Swedish team. But no, actually taking the shot there um, and settling the ball with 12 seconds left in the shot clock. Um, should be able to, to kill the shot clock. And we have a big score again. Um, again, Jano Altonen with a big shot from up top, able to finish that shot near side, beating the goaltender from Sweden. And the new score, Finland two, Sweden zero with uh, about nine and a half se uh, minutes left in this first quarter. And so as expected, the Finnish team really strong on offense, um, but Sweden, I think, really have to find their, their pace now um, to get into the defensive game.
So we have a shot clock violation here from um, Team Finland. And ball will be with Sweden. With eight and a half minutes left in the game. So Sweden not able to profit from these two power play situations. Early in the game, Finland really doing a good job killing those power plays. And now we'll see, have to see if Sweden now can regroup. Taking a big shot there, but no problem. Shot wide. Uh, Finland able to pick up the ball. And now back in transition. Trying to increase their lead. And we have a shot wide from Finland. So, not sure, oh, the official just stopped in the play. Play has to start back in the corner for Sweden, so not allowing them any kind of head start in transitioning the ball upfield. And let's see uh, what this team Sweden can do. Um, in terms of offense, they look a little bit static to me. Don't really move well. Taking a lot of outside shots, but those angles there um, are not not really not really good angles, not really good shots to take. So nice try to to pass the ball down the crease. Not just not able to connect there uh, with the offense player, but able to pick up the loose ball, recover, and the shot. Bad angle there, beating the goaltender um, down low. And so that is uh, Sweden number number ten, I believe, with the score. And so Sweden now making this game a little bit more exciting. Yes, so that was Sweden, number 10. Anton, Anton Bromander. Uh, sorry, no, that was Lichter, Victor Lundberg, the captain of the Swedish team. Um, so he is able to put Sweden on the scoreboard. And now obviously we'll move into a little bit of a more tight game. So let's see what if Sweden can profit from that momentum and can do the early equalizer in the first half of this game. So Sweden again trying to go low, passing up to the crease, but we have a crease violation from the Swedish players. So ball will be awarded to Finland. Finland clearing up the ball fast. Now, no transition discoveries here. So while the wind is picking up a little bit closer, see a nice save from the from the Swedish goaltender. Nice pass up top and Finland at the moment, bit static, but really taking their chances from the outside shots, trying to find the open guy also on the crease, but Sweden really buckled down with 15 seconds left in the shot clock. They, they'll use their chances, nice wind dodge there and an open man up top with an easy shot, but Swedish goaltender able to hold on to the ball. So nothing there for for Finland in terms of in terms of getting off a good shot and uh, now Sweden trying to clear the ball oh but Finland applying a lot of pressure there in transition um, able to retain possession bring back the ball up top settling and going back into their five on five and we can see now obviously the Finnish head coach also calming down his boys um, telling them to get more settled get in the two men games trying to pass around the ball. Now we can see Swedish defense spread out a lot, a lot of open space there. And a nice score from Finland. Number 50 on the feet to the crease. So we have Rope Jokela able to profit from a nice feed. And uh, the uh, Swedish defense just a little bit too uh, spread too far apart. Um, not able to cover enough space. And obviously that's an easy finish for the experienced Finnish uh, attack man and Finland now leading three to one with about six minutes left in this first quarter. So for everyone out there watching who is new to the sport of box across, um, the game is pretty simple. Have the ball in the stick, try to shoot it in the net. Have a good shot there from the Finnish team but Finland able to come up with it and um, transitioning the ball now upfield. Um, so yeah, the goal is pretty much 
put the ball in the net um, using your stick, so you're not allowed to kick it in the net. Yesterday we saw some some soccer action on the field, but um, that's something that you that wouldn't score. And a nice dive shot attempt there from Sweden, taking the ball low. And while we are watching the replay here, um, Finland able to pick this one up, transitioning it back up top. So some nice action there from Sweden, but not able to connect there. Now Finland regrouping. Regrouping and, and trying to profit now. Nice seals up top. S uh, Finland trying to profit from the big outside shots. We already saw two big wind-ups. Wind um, but Sweden now really struggling with clearing the ball. Finland applying a lot of pressure and now able to pick up the loose ball and actually might be having a good chance to get off a shot. Nice save from the Swedish goaltender. So it'll be a reset and Sweden ball after the shot wide. And so Sweden, they really at the moment struggling a little bit and in getting into their five on five defense. Finland, the Finnish player now losing his helmet there, but no serious injuries there or no penalties called. And so uh, the referees, looks like the referees want to talk things over. And we're going to see a face off, I think, um, because it was not clear who dislaunched the ball out of bounds. So we'll be seeing, I think, it looked like the referees were pointing towards that there will be a face off because it was not clear who, who dislaunched the ball out of bounds. So teams will start with face off uh, to determine who's going to have the next possession. With four and, uh, minutes and 20 seconds left in this quarter, I think we're seeing an exciting game at the moment. And really, really some nice actions, um, some nice offense so far. I think uh, Team Finland a little bit better organized in the offense so far. So um, both teams still struggling a bit with the, with the easy bits of catching and throwing the ball. Um, but overall, we're seeing a good and exciting game. So Finland there, really again, taking topside. But a nice save from the Swedish goaltender. So I think the, the Swedish defense, they really need to buckle up a little bit more, need to tough up a little bit more. That's just too easy for the Finnish players at the moment. Um, to, to work themselves through the defense. And, and so we see an over and back violation here. So the Swedish players stepping on the line, um, ball being awarded to Team Finland. And so Finland back in offense. So we haven't seen quite a lot of, of five on five offense for the Swedish team recently. Um, and, and that will obviously also drain, drain the the Swedish defense. I mean, those guys have basically been on the pitch nonstop. Um, so I think Sweden really now has to clear the ball, keep it in their offensive half, have a good 30 second shot clock. Oh, nice underhand shuffle shot there by <laughs> number 50 from Finland, uh, Rope Jokela. <laughs> so really, really putting in a, lo a lot of tricks and showing the skill set that these Finnish players have. For Team Finland, pure Finnish roster, so all, all players there originate from Finland, and I think the same is the case from Sweden. So Finland trying to find the open man on the crease, not able to, ball intercepted by the Swedish defense, and now again, Sweden needs to desperately try to clear this ball and really settle down, use a full 30 second shot clock, and give their defense a little bit of a breather. So 14 seconds left, trying to get up top with a nice shot, but that's just wide of the right post. So we can see missed by quite a bit. And Finland now in transition again. Finnish player just clearing the ball there. And again, the f a five on five. Sweden defense now a, a little bit better buckled in, playing a man on man, not allowing the Finnish players the easy pass on the crease. But again, Finland able to profit from an individual effort from Rope Jokola, already I think his third tally of this game so far. Um, so he really beating his man. Um, top side, coming close to the goal, finishing close to the post. So increasing the lead of Finland from four to one with roughly two minutes left in this first quarter. And so really Sweden now has to power up 
in defense. Try to not allow any kind of discoveries there for the finish one on one uh, in one on one situations for the Finnish offense. And obviously the head coach of Finland, Finland really likes the development that this team is showing. Finland certainly among the favorites for winning this tournament so far. Um, we've seen solid performances from Team England, Scotland also beating Ireland yesterday. And now a bit of a transition discovery there. And Finland again able to get a nice shot off with a good cross crease pass. But great save from the Swedish goaltender who I think now really has already done a couple of great saves and keeping this Swedish defense and this Swedish team in the game. But Sweden now really has to try to get better into the one-on-one -on -one situations. Nice try. They're close to the crease, but then also check from behind. So I think we're gonna see, we're gonna see ball being awarded to Finland there. Oh no, referee says crease violation by the Finnish player. So no illegal stuff there. And Sweden will be back with the ball with one minute and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. So that'll be at least another possession for each team in offense. Sweden again taking a big wind up, but just not able to connect there. And so great save from the Finnish goaltender and Finland again in transition, walking the ball upfield. Oh, easy pass to the wide open player, but the Swedish goaltender there going on a little bit of a ride through the goal and uh, through the field. Yeah, it's very uncommon that the goaltenders actually leave their crease. Um, but then again, Sweden having big problems at the clears. Finland with a nice give and go up top, now pulling the ball out, going back into their five and five offense. But at the moment, Finland just much more efficient and much more settled in, in offense playing the ball around nicely. Now getting back up top, trying to find the open guy down the crease. Nice dive shot attempt there from the Finnish players. Uh, but Finland still back in the game, uh, but a nice save from the Swedish goaltender with uh, roughly 13 seconds left in the game. Um, there'll be seven seconds left in the, in the quarter. Um, I don't think Sweden will be able to get up a shot. And this is the end of the first quarter. I thank you very much for watching. We'll be back in a second. Um, so see you soon, guys. Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial.
Video auf Facebook dann gleich hören, wenn ich spreche, ob es laut genug ist oder, oder nicht. And we'll see. Test. Okay, so now we're back on here. Having fixed the some audio issues here, but now we should be back in the stream. Um, um, and so uh, we are in the game. Team Finland versus Sweden. Finland leading 4 to 1 after the first quarter. Nice save by the Finnish goaltender there. Let's see if. Uh, Sweden not able to pick up the ball again, so Finland saving it, but nice, nice effort by the Swedish defender to dislaunch the ball there from the Finnish stick. And now Sweden still having a hard time clearing the ball in this game. Like Finland applying a lot of pressure, uh, and there will likely see a 10 second violation from the Swedish team. So each team has 10 seconds to clear the ball over the midline. And. Um, Sweden not successful there due to the pressure from the Finnish offense. And so it will be Finnish ball with again Finland just having a too easy time getting through the center of the field. Like Sweden really has to put in a more pressure on these Finnish offensive players, pushing them away from the center, applying more pressure, not allowing them the easy passes. And like I said here, now uh, maybe a breakaway chance from Sweden, but Sweden number 20. Anton Bromander um, not allowing any nasty discoveries here uh, in, uh, in transition, retaining possession, but not able to put it on that. So it's back up Finland again with the ball in offense. So now I uh, also want to welcome a couple of fans that made their way here to our outdoor venue. So we are joined, I would say, by about five to ten Finnish fans and a couple of Swedish fans as well. And there are probably also a couple of hundred frogs here on the pitch because they have just surfaced out from the canals nearby here in these nice gardens in central Hanover. And so players this morning cleared out the pitch collecting all the frogs. Um, there we saw a little bit of a, what looked like to me an illegal pick um, on the Swedish defender. Um, but a great save from the Swedish goaltender there. Um, so not allowing anything to happen there. But looks like we'll have a delayed penalty here on one of the Swedish players. We see one of the Finnish players down on the floor. But getting back up again. Um, We'll see um, a Swedish player making his way off to the penalty box. 
I believe this is going to be Sweden number 47, Torgnir Jernberg. Um, so he already made his way to the penalty box while the referees still discuss what kind of penalty he will be getting. And so we have a two minute penalty for a cross check, but we also have a penalty on Sweden, uh, on Finland, so I can't really see can't really see which player that was. Uh, so we have a five on five situation. And so as uh, Finland number 45, Nico Aho, who is also going to serve a two minute minor penalty for a cross check. Have a little bit more possession, have a bit of more settled play there. Get some safety and security, yeah, but I mean, those low angle shots are no problem for the Finnish goaltender. He just eats those up easily. And so Finland, now back in transition. And now we just missed that goal scored from Finland on a nice breakaway, but we have it on the slow-mo here. Um, so I believe that was um, Finland. Number 61, Robert Wright Tiller. Able to put another tally in for the Finns with Finland now leading 5 to 1 with about 10 minutes left in the second quarter of this game. Uh, so Finland cleanly, easily winning this face off with a 3 on 1 transition situation, but a great save. From the finish, uh, from the Swedish goaltender. Now Sweden again trying to clear the ball, um, bring the ball upfield, um, staying in the possession, but really need to take the ball down low here, not to to avoid any kind of over and back violations. But now Sweden really needs to settle this, needs to settle their five on five, get into two man games. We see a nice seal up top. Finland also spread out a lot, applying a lot of pressure, and only two seconds left in the shot clock. Swedish player taking a, a pretty big wind up from around 20 meters away from the goal. And so we see the, f for the Finns it's just too easy, you know, like pumping through three players in defense, no big resistance from the Swedish defense. Like the, the, the Swedes, they need to talk things over in halftime of how to better defend those players. But well, we see a nice pass to the crease from the Finnish player and finishing after a fake near side. That's again number 61, Robert Reitilla, the captain of this Finnish team, able to put in an Artelli, um, increasing the score six to one for Finland with about nine minutes left in the second period of this game. So Finland already gaining quite a big bit of a lead and so Sweden really now has to try to, to um, fight back here and try to put in a, a goal and really buckle up on defense um, so far. It really looks like um, they are they have no no answers to the uh, Finnish power offense. And so Finland having the ball, both penalties are also released, meaning that the teams are obviously equal strengths, which they were before as well, but also both of the players back on their benches. And so Finland in offense, where we see a little bit of an illegal screen there <laughs> from Finland. Number nine, Jarno Altonen. Uh, so big size body, but Sweden on transition. Nice shot, but a great save from the Swedish goaltender, uh, from the Finnish goaltender, Luri uh, Ustalo. Usitalo, Usitalo, that's the name. So pardon my Finnish. Um, and so while we see um, the transition play here, Finland with their next score, Hitting the five hole and the ball just trickling in by number 45, Nico Aho with the goal for Team Finland, increasing the score seven to one for Finland. So with eight minutes left in the second period, Sweden now really, really has to get back into the defense defensive play and also needs to try to be more productive on offense because otherwise I feel the lead for Finland will be just too large and Sweden will, will have a hard time coming back from this. I mean, obviously, we all love a good comeback story, um, but it, it'll be tough having having seen um, having seen how how much pressure th uh, this Finnish team applies in the transition game and how hard it is for the Swedish team to clear the ball. They have to fight now for every every possession and try to get off better shots. Finland pressing up high nicely, but uh, 
able to pick up the ball there, trying out transition here. And we have a shot from number 33, Ansi uh, Ansi uh, Kaisalmi, uh, who is able to get the ball in transition, uh, just not able to get the, the shot on net. But Finland retains possession, um, able to play around the ball. What Finland does really nicely is moving the ball east-west, so across the crease, being able to take off that shot, but that shot just wide. Um, so it'll be Sweden coming up with the ball, transitioning the ball upfield. So I was just told that the audio signal is too quiet for the commentation. So I'm trying to ramp up the mic a little bit more and I hope now you can hear me much better. Um, so obviously um, we're now doing our best uh, to fix some minor technical issues that we have um, while tri still trying to give you the best experience for this Boston Cross game. Oh, with a nice dive shot attempt there from the Swedish player there, but a great save from the Finnish goaltender. Nice reset and then also great save for the second shot. Uh, but Finland able to clear the ball, not allowing any nasty discoveries here for the Swedes. And now with uh, six minutes left in this quarter, Finland will be trying to increase their lead and able to penetrate through the defense. Finland, number seven, Alti Hutjenen, um, able to beat two of the Swedish defenders and finishing top side. So again, the Swedish defense not having any kind of answers for this Finnish power offense. And Sweden, inc uh, Finland increasing the lead eight to one in the second period. So I, I really think that Team Sweden should also consider taking a timeout at some point, really stopping stopping this momentum from Finland and talking things over, in spe specifically defensively. I mean, they, they also struggle offensively, but if they if they can't stop the bleeding there um, on on offense, Finland's just gonna they're just gonna they're just gonna draw away. Like <laughs> we see a little bit of a trip up from the Finnish player on his own man, um, but Finland able to stay in position. Um, now with it, dead ball. Um, so fresh 30 second shot clock for Finland in their five and five offense. Again, Finland using the one on one, having just a too easy way in, but we see delayed penalty. There'll be a push in the back or a cross check penalty against Sweden. I believe Sweden number 13. No, I think that is Sweden number 15, um, Hugo Pettersson, who is um, who is making his way to the bench for a cross-check violation uh, or push in the back violation. And it'll be Finland now with the power play. So worse things worse for Team Sweden. And so it'll be Finland ball up top right corner of your screen and so Finland now trying to feed the crease not able to connect there Sweden but Sweden able to pick up the ball um, and now transitioning the ball over uh, over the midline so they'll try to kill as much of the penalty as possible, um, but actually able to get off a quite a good shot in transition in the man down situation. So maybe maybe Sweden a little bit better on the man down than they would actually be on the equal play, but again, sloppy passing, not able to catch the ball. Finland with an easy pickup. And with about one minute and 15 seconds left in the penalties, Finland will at least have another two possessions. Um, on this 5 on 4 penalty, playing around the ball nicely now. Um, trying to find the open man. Nice BTB feed and a great quick stick from the corner. Maybe a little bit, little bit 
low effort there. Didn't look like they really uh, the Finnish player really leaned into that shot, so could have been a little bit more aggressive there. So allowing Sweden to clear the ball, but again, Sweden really struggling with the pressure that defense apply in transition. And, and so fin Sweden now able to to get the ball on over with eight seconds left on the shot clock. Um, they'll get the ball low, uh, maybe look to draw a penalty, but nothing there. So Finland cleanly winning the ball. And with another 23 seconds left on the penalty, um, they'll have another good solid shot clock left to use that five on four power play situation and maybe score another goal. Nice behind the back feet there um, with a shot off. So we'll have another look at that shot here. Nice screenshot there, but a great save from the Finnish goaltender. And Sweden now equal play, five on five again. And so the penalty released, but Sweden again struggling, clearing the ball. And we have now a timeout by Team Sweden um, talking things over again, um, which I think they desperately need. And we'll go off to a little commercial break. And we are back from little commercial break here um, with three and a half minutes left. Five on five, Team Sweden taking a timeout and really talking things over with their team um, to see, let's see if they can have a little bit of a better five on five offense. Now almost losing the ball there on a, on a pass. Finland really doing a good job in, in you know, pressuring, pressuring the players. Sweden only able to get off low angle shots, easy saves for the Finnish goaltender and against Finland with possession of the ball. So I think it, it a pretty dominant, pr dominant performance so far from Team Finland. Um, really able to to show some some good tactics on offense and defense. Nice save from the Swedish goaltender. So that will be a fresh 30 second shot clock. Finland able to pick up that shot, and again, really just draining the Swedish Swedish offense, uh, Swedish defense. Uh, so in, in terms of timing, there's probably been twice as much offensive position positions for Finland compared to Sweden. Another great kick save there um, by the Swedish goaltender. Uh, Finland now just ripping shots from outside, but the Swedish goalie, quite an open look, um, but Looks a little bit effortless, to be honest, from the from the Finnish player there. So just just taking a little bit of a step, dipping it in there, but might put a little bit more effort in there uh, because I mean it's just a seven goal lead, um, so everything's possible in box across, in particular with the stop clock. Um, might have seen a a, bi a bit of a behind the back action there, but Finland not risking any kind of too fancy things, passing the ball up front, um, but. Swedish goaltender now with another great save. Finland able to catch the ball there, but wide open player on the doorstep. But again, a great save from the from the Swedish goaltender. Um, so he really sh really showing the some momentum and some skill set there. And so Sweden, Finland playing the ball around, passing the ball up front. but no over and back violation because the ball was touched by a Swedish player. So with 30 sec 39 seconds left in this period, 
Uh, Finland there with a good open look back on the back door, but uh, passed just a little bit too high, and Sweden now able, now finally able to clear the ball, <laughs> but not able to retain possession for a long time, so Finland really applying so much pressure now. Um, in transition, passing the ball around nicely, just not a quite able to bring it on the net. Um, and so with 14 seconds left, it will be the, Finnish, uh, the Swedish ball for the rest of uh, the period, I believe, so they should be settling it down now, trying maybe to get another shot off. Um, with the ball out of bounds, it's four seconds left um, for, team, for Team Finland. Finland just a, a big wind up there. Big wind up there, but missing the goal quite wide. So um, we are back. Um, so we are now in the halftime. It's Finland with a score of eight versus Sweden with a score of one. So the Finns really showing some dominance in offense. But I would I would actually say that the main dominance for their team arises from the pressure that they apply in transition and in defense. Really, really almost no good shot chances for the Swedish team and they really need to talk things over now in the, in the halftime um, to find some ways of how they can be more profitable in offense. Swedish team so far was successful in the other games and uh, scoring in offense, so they just have to find, a, find their way, find a good rhythm and also a way of dealing with the Finnish pressure throughout in transition, have more m more possessions um, in the halftime. So with this, we're off for some commercials um, and in our halftime break. So see you later, guys. sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial.
And we are back for the second half of the game. Finland versus Sweden. Current score 8-2-1 for Team Finland. We could listen in a little bit. We could listen in a little bit on the coaches' preparations and talks during the halftime. And Sweden obviously now trying to regroup. And... Um, trying to come back here in the game but now it's Finland coming up with the ball um, in transition winning that face off and we have a whistle there so I'm not sure what we have here uh, looks like maybe some problems with the shot clock system but certainly Finland will stay in possession and so we figure it out at least the referees looks like they know what they're doing. And we are 5-on-5 five five with uh, Finland in the white jerseys, Sweden in the dark blue jerseys. And Finland now with nice ball movement. Shot just wide a bit, but still able to feed that crease. And we've seen it already in the first half. Finland really efficient with, with um, passing the ball around, moving the ball. And also, again, here we see applying a lot of pressure in transition, really pressing out on the players, not giving any room for the Swedish players to breathe during transition here. And Sweden now with a nice offense, good individual effort on the right-hand side. Um, but Finland easily able to pick up the ball, running it down the floor, transitioning into their offensive play. So over and back violation. So ball will be back for the Finns. Nice pass to the middle. Good save from the Swedish goaltender. I mean, so far I would definitely say that the best player on the Swedish team is the goaltender. Um, he already saw a couple of good shots, but also had some good stuffs there. And now Finland moving the ball around nicely. You can really see how these, how all these cuts move down the players more closely. Good shot by Jana Altonen, but also a great stop from the Swedish goaltender.
And so Finland again rotating nicely, moving around the ball, really generating a lot of open looks up top here, really pressing down on this Swedish defense and getting closer to the net. That's what they've been done so successfully in this kind of rotation-wise offense. And so again, applying a lot of pressure in transition, so Sweden really struggling with clearing the ball. I mean, if you look at the shot clock, now they have the ball settled, settled down in the corner with only 15 seconds left on the shot clock. And <laughs> Finnish player pinning up the Swedish player on the boards. Let's see if, if everything there is clean. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, no call from the referees. So Finn's able to clear the ball off bench side. And retaining possession here and back on offense. So Sweden not able to get uh, decent looks in this possession here while Finland again having a lot of space. And what a great goal there. Nice behind the back scene here. So we see the pass down low with a beautiful behind the back finish by Finland number by number 92, Jimmy Viren. Great left-handed behind the back shot straight over the shoulder of the goaltender. And so now we're also seeing some highlight reels here in this EBLC. 2022 here in Hanover. So we had a 10 second violation from the team Sweden, not able to clear the ball here. And so it'll be again Finland's ball. And we have a delayed penalty on Sweden player number nine, Matti Seklund, for a holding violation. And so we have a power play now from Team Finland with 11 minutes and 14 seconds left in the quarter. So let's see what the Finns draw up here. A little bit behind the back action there. Setting up a big shot from number nine. Matis uh, from Jarno Altonen. And we have a big shot from up top. Sorry, missed the slow-mo there. Nothing, no save that the Swedish goaltender was able to do. And the Sweden actually changed their goaltender during halftime. So Andreas Ringström now in goal for Team Sweden. Um, but he also struggling with the power play from Finland. And so the new score 10 to 1 for Finland. Uh, so now we see some retaliation hit here from the Finnish player. Maybe we can. Our camera's just not able to watch to catch this action. So Sweden with possession, no send-offs here, so we'll stay five on five. Um, nice feet to the crease, but Sweden player not able to connect to that pass. So Finland easily turning the ball over in transition, and they'll have an open look on the crease there. Um, shot just wide, um, but Finland, Finland keeping the ball in possession. And now Finland setting up their efficient, and I'll play only two seconds left. I don't think they're going to get off a shot. Oh, they did, fresh reset, but Sweden able to pick up the ball, transitioning it over. And we can see again the pressure from this Finnish defense and in transition is just brutal. The ride is so, so difficult for this Swedish team to handle. What a nice interception there from the Swedish player. 
Oh, uh, now we might look at a holding call. No, everything clean there. Uh, so it really looked like the Finnish players holding. Oh, nice wraparound shot. So we'll have a closer look at that again. Trying there for the one-handed dive shot from behind the cage, but just not able, not able to um, hit the top corner there. So great save for the Finnish goaltender. And um, the ball is back with Finland in their own half, clearing the ball easily now, going back into a five on five with a score of 10 to one for Finland in this third period with about nine minutes left. So no goal there from Finland. Um, no goal we can see, that was a crease violation. So ball will be off for Sweden. And we can see a Swedish player again trying for a wraparound shot. Let's have another close look at that. But he stepped into the crease there and also greatly defended by the Finnish goaltender. While Sweden is already back in transition. Taking it maybe a little bit slower. The Finns now trying to, to really look for better chances there. Um, not rushing it too much. Good shot, but also not rushing it too much here. Really trying to get into a settled five on five play maybe also trying to to work on some plays that they're drawn up on the board uh, during halftime we can see again big big seals up top um really trying to pin down the swedish defense get them low and then score from either with big wind up outside shots or find the open man on the crease but now good chance for team sweden nice save there um, from the finnish goaltender though and Sweden not able to connect on this transition chance here. And we have Team Finland now with the ball in offense, settling the play. And another highlight goal here, another behind the back goal there. Nice feed to the crease with another behind the back goal. That's already the second one. Almost looks a little bit like a wraparound check there from the Finnish players. So they're really now on fire, showing a couple of great highlight scenes there. And I mean, with a score of 11 to one, I think it's gonna be really, really tough for Team Sweden to come back into this game. They really now have to try to find a way offensively to get things working for them. Haven't really scored in the last over, over 20 minutes. Uh, they didn't uh, score so. Um, and again, Finland winning the face-off, having more possession. So really tough now also for the Swedish defense, spending a lot of time on the field um, with little breaks. So Finland again, running the ball around, trying to find the open man. Little uh, time left on the shot clock, good wind up. So So while well, we'll take a closer look at what the Finnish goaltender is doing during the Finnish, uh, <laughs> during the Finnish offense, um, we can see that not a lot. I mean, you would wonder. Um, even goaltenders look goaltenders look even slower during slow motion than they look in their their regular games. So we have Finland now finding the open man there. Great chance um, in transition there. Finding the open man, but not able, not able to connect. So good save from the Finnish goaltender and Finland again, with possession in their offensive half, settling it up in a nice five on five. So what is interesting to see about this rivalry between Finland and Sweden is also that both teams, obviously with a Nordish background and an ice hockey heavy country. Um, usually mainland European teams that are not so much involved with ice hockey. Um, while we take a closer look at this replay when the Finnish player hitting the crossbar. Um, with nations not so much involved with ice hockey, teams usually tend to struggle with having enough left-handed lacrosse players. 
Now for Finland and Sweden, this is exactly the opposite. Um, actually, most of the players on these rosters are um, left-handed players and they are really struggling to find appropriate right-handed players for their offense. So um, I, I think, I guess, a good mix between Finland and uh, the German team uh, who have only a few left-handed players in their roster. So we see another, another great feed to the crease um, but a shot just wide. Um, so Finland really showing some great potential here on the offensive half. So I hope now my voice is a little bit louder as we got some comments here. So if you like our stream, if you want to watch more games, obviously follow us on social media, on Instagram, EBLC2022. Also fo follow Germany Lacrosse um, for some more details about lacrosse in Germany in general or the Instagram account or social media accounts of the European Lacrosse Federation, ELF. Um, you can comment also there, leave us some images from where you're watching the games. So it looks like now that ball tripled in from a shot from the crease. Um, and so we can see um, Finland now from a little bit of an outside shot increasing their lead twelve on one and so you might see that we every once in a while we have a little bit of a black spot arising in our image those are the protection the rain protection equipment specifically designed for these cameras some people may call it a trash bag we'll call it rain protection coating for our camera gear um, since it's quite windy out here in the outdoor facility on the hockey turfs and obviously we want to save all our equipment from the rain as we want to bring you a couple of more streams later this week and not want the rain to ruin our equipment. So Finland again settling it up in their 5-on-5. Five five. Big shot now from outside. Not able to connect there but able to pick up the rebound there and burying that, I believe that was Finland number 48, Simo Tepperi. So for anyone who's wondering why I'm having such a hard time reading the numbers, is we are sitting behind the screen. But this one I actually spotted correctly. So props to my eyes. And I mean, this is only the first game of three today. So let's see how much vision we have left for the last three for the next two games. So Finland back into their offense, playing around the ball. We saw um, some some players now w trying to get in a good stretch during the during the halftime. Um, so for anyone who is following these EBLCs, each team will play six games in eight days. So that's six full games, full full four time fifteen minute stop clock games over eight days. That already shows what these athletes, which are predominantly amateur athletes, what performance, what endurance, what fitness level they will bring to the table at these European Box Across Championships. I can tell you that all of these players, they'll be done. They, they, they'll be exhausted after those four days. And now we're seeing some nice action there on top of the crease there. Some nice fakes there. Also try to try behind the back fakes, but the Swedes all over the Finnish player and he's not able to get that across goal line. While Sweden now trying to clear the ball. Trying to clear the ball, generating some offensive looks for them. Um, so this, this is uh, one of the first times now in this period that Sweden is trying to control the ball, retains possession for a little bit longer. With five seconds left on the shot clock, they still have some time, but should be able to pass it off not able to get off a good shot on goal so Sweden still struggling with the pressure applied from the Finland team 
uh, and, and really not being able to, to get any kind of good offense running. Uh, so I think uh, looking looking into uh, Group A where both of these teams play now, um, uh, Finland also beating Serbia yesterday. Um, and I, I believe that um, Finland is definitely the favorite. And Finland also beating team, team Belgium yesterday with 18 to 1. Um, I believe that um, uh, I believe that there will be an easy play for um, for Finland to take first place in this group. Now we have a penalty on Team Finland for a cross check. Four cross checks. So we have one minute fifty left in the game. So we have uh, one minute 50 left in the penalty. So let's see if uh, with about 50 seconds left in the quarter. Um, so we're currently adjusting our timing here on the stream to the scoreboard. Um, so let's see if Team Sweden, who might get a, who will probably get another possession in this halftime, uh, in this period, will be able to profit from their man up situation. At the moment, it's really just Finland with a four and five settling the ball, having as much clock run down of the shot clock and of their penalty as possible. And with five seconds left, uh, Finland's just going to take the ball low now, maybe able to get off the shot, but just roll it in the corners. Uh, Sweden with 17 seconds left in the period. Um, Uh, so for anyone who is wondering why we don't have a stop clock anymore, so the score differential between Finland and Sweden is larger than 10 goals, which is the so-called mercy rule. So once a team reaches uh, a score difference of more than 10 goals, um, the clock will not be stopped anymore, but it will just continuously run. Uh, so we also had some confusion here on, on the bench. Um, but... Um, with the mercy rule in place, Team Finland still has 49 seconds on their penalty, meaning that Sweden, if they win the faceoff, will have a chance in the power play to maybe score the first goal of this half uh, and equalize the game. We're off now for a little bit of commercial now, so see you in two minutes. Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. Better isn't a destination, it's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what didn't work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them because better is out there and it's never done.
So we are back for the fourth period of this PBLC 2022 game, Finland versus Sweden. So apologies for anyone who uh, is experiencing different levels of audio. We are currently still trying to adjust. It's a little bit problematic with the heavy wind here. Um, but we'll try our best that the audio levels of the commercials that you're seeing and the commentation are lined up. So sorry about any con inconvenience that we're causing here. Um, and so we hope you can bear with us um, for this game. Um, it'll be Finland versus Sweden. Finland now um, leading 13 to one. Um, the Finnish team man down with still 14 seconds in the penalty. So Sweden should be able to clear the ball, but they can't. So it will be Finland just being able to run down the full penalty. Um, and, and no chances for Sweden to profit off from that um, from that power play situation. And so we have um, Finland now with an attempt for a shot, not able to connect, uh, but not able to pick up the ball. And so um, Sweden also not able to clear the ball, by, uh, pass wide. Um, so it'll be Finland again with the ball. And I mean, this this is brutal for the Swedish defense. <laughs> they 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 probably they probably saw most of uh, this game on the floor with little time to rest. Um, Finnish player trying to get to beat underneath. Um, and so we'll have another look at this nice jump shot while the game continues. So shot just wide, um, but Sweden able to come up with the ball. And Sweden now trying some transition there, shot just wide. As Swedish players slip there, uh, Finns able to retain possession, setting up their five on five play with a big windup, but just, just wide left of the goal, picked up by the Swedish goaltender. Uh, but we have some call from the, from the referees that was a crease violation and in and out from the Swedish player. So it'll be, ball will stay with Finland with another chance to increase the lead. Um, and so based on the previous results in this group, it's clear to say that um, that Team Finland um, will finish first in this group. Finland beats Serbia 18 to five and beat Belgium 18 one. And so Sweden who have played Serbia yesterday and beat Serbia 13 to 10 will be the second place seed in this group A. So both teams um, advancing to the next round um, while uh, we are still, um, uh, we'll still see um, how these other groups plays out. So at the moment, um, you will be able on the other stream to see Team Czech Republic playing Slovakia. Um, the game should have started um, about half an hour ago. And so uh, it's, uh, um, this will be the game to decide um, who will take second place in Group B behind Germany. So the current score in the game, Czech Republic versus Slovakia for anyone watching here and interested in, is uh, 10 to two. And so uh, we are in the second period there. So um, Czech Republic really having a, a big lead against the Slovakian team. Um, and later today, uh, we'll see the game of uh, England versus Ireland. And so here we have a nice score for Team Finland. Um, on a breakaway, good shot, far corner, increasing the lead. 13 to one for Finland now, and Finland now again with another chance on the breakaway, but the shot just wide. Hey, 
And so I think it's fair to say that um, Sweden will probably not be coming back from this uh, from this game. But still, we would hope that the Swedish team will get one or two chances in offense, maybe scoring another goal. And and so then um, later today in this venue, um, the next game at uh, starting at 1:45, Netherlands meeting the Swiss team. Um, and so we while well, we're talking about the other games. We'll have another shot, outside shot from the left-hand side. Big sidearm rip, far post. So great finish there from the Finns. But I mean, if there's anyone that knows how to finish, it's got to be the Finns, right? Um, so later today, um, at, at this venue here um, and on the stream live, you will have the chance to watch the Netherlands picking on Switzerland, um, which will be... Um, an interesting and exciting game because in Group C, uh, all the games uh, are very close. Um, also, um, Austria beating Team Netherlands in a great comeback, the 15 to 12. Um, while Switzerland yesterday had a day off and on the first uh, day was able to beat Austria 8 to 11. So in this group, everyone has beaten everybody. Um, so that will be the decisive game to see who takes first place there, and then. Later on the day, um, at uh, 4.45, we have Team Serbia meeting Team Belgium. Um, and there they, they will be playing um, for the third and fourth seed in this group. So again, we have uh, another score from Finland on a nice cut to the crease with a great behind the back finish. So that's already the third B2B finish that we've seen from this Finnish team. So they're really showing off some skill now today. And um, really fantastic to watch these Finnish players play. Um, uh, while obviously we would have wished for a little bit of a closer game, um, it's also great to watch the skill sets uh, that the Finnish teams uh, bring to the table. And we obviously enjoy any kind of lacrosse if it's good lacrosse. So for anyone out there watching the streams, maybe you can send the links to your friends, also friends not so familiar with lacrosse. Big motto here at the European Box Lacrosse Championships is just grow the game throughout Europe. And so there will be no goal with the Swedish player running into the cage. Usually if the ball is being, if the goal is being moved and the player is able to, uh, to throw the ball across the goal line, the virtual goal line, then it would be scored a goal. But this, this time the goal was moved by the Swedish offensive player. So obviously this time it's nothing that the, um, goaltender could do about it and so um, this was obviously not a score by Sweden although we would have wished for Team Sweden to be able to score another goal big wind up there for Jarne Altonen I mean look at this look at this boy he's two meters five tall at least and just the long arms just a big sidearm lefty wind up um, already had a couple of tallies in the in the first quarter um, and now we'll hope that Team Sweden will be able to score, and in fact they do. The shot, big wind-up shot from up top, number 42. Uh, Kevin Powers, just a big wind-up, and the ball trickles through the equipment of the Finnish goaltender. So Sweden now also on the board for their second half. You can see the cheers from the bench. Um, so, so the team's obviously still in a good mood, although maybe not showing the greatest performance offensively. It's good to see that those teams are still in the match. It's a long tournament with still over three games to go. And so we love to see this good competition from the Swedish team there. And a new score of 15 to two for Finland. So while we're having the last five minutes of this game, Finland is taking it easy, moving the ball around. 20 seconds on the shot clock. They'll be looking for some open guys. Maybe another couple of high highlight reel shots, BGBs, or a big wind up from the side. I mean, Finns can do it all. 
Oh, we see again Swedish defender being beaten offside. Let's just have a, a look at this nice save from the Finnish goal Swedish goaltender. And while we're watching this highlight scene, Sweden on a breakaway. Um, but Sweden now taking a short timeout. Wanted to talk things over for the last minutes of the game. Um, with five minutes left, and we'll go off into a little bit of a quick commercial break. So see you in a minute. And we are back for the game. And the last five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Finland currently leading 15 to two. And Sweden now with possession of the ball, 25 seconds left on the shot clock, trying to make something happen in offense. And we obviously hope that they can, they can get another goal. Uh, they've been successful so far. Um, only with two scores, one in the first half, one in the second half, just a while ago. And, and I, I guess they, for them it's really important to kind of work against this pressuring Finnish offense, um, but it's just too many small mistakes, not being able to catch the ball. Um, still, it's great to see that even though they are down by, by 13 goals, they're still hustling, still some smiles on their faces, cheering each other on. And I mean, that's the spirit that we want to see in these games. Um, all the teams are here on their own money. There's no money in lacrosse. If you want to put a little bit of money in lacrosse, then we're happy to take your donations. Um, you, can, you can check out the individual programs. Um, but you can hear it now also from the Swedish bench, really cheering on their players to clear the ball, getting into the games. And so um, all of these players here, amateur players, there's not a lot of public support, but Sweden now on the breakaway, being able to profit in transition, a nice seal from number 20. Um, and we have a great shot from the Swedish team. And so Sweden, Greatly increasing the score, 15 to three now. Um, but Finland just so efficient also on the face-offs, regaining possession. Um, but hey, it's great to see that the uh, Swedes are able now to also profit in transition, put it on the goal. We can already see some of the players on the Swedish bench stretching out their legs, getting prepared for the other games. And again, yeah. Big wind-up shot there and just hitting the top right corner there from the Finnish team. Um, so fantastic finish there from the Finns, uh, increasing the score 16 to three for Finland now with about three minutes left in the game. The last couple of minutes will just trickle down, but maybe we will see something from the Swedes. Little night of nice action there. And so we thank you all very much for watching these games. And while we'll enjoy the last couple of minutes of this game, obviously EBLT have just started. Um, so there will be more games. Today is Monday, I believe, um, which means that we have games until Saturday this week. And so um, nice nice finish there from the Swedes, moving the ball nicely, cross crease, not able just to, to get it on cage or a little bit of kick save from the Finnish goaltender. But this Swedish team not giving up there, fighting until the last minute of the game. And I mean, I just can't repeat it. The referees and the players and the coaches, they just love this sport so much. They put on their own time, put up their own money to come here. No one's here for any kind of uh, monetary benefit. They just want to play hard, play fair, um, have tough games and grow the game of lacrosse throughout Europe. And if you want to get closer or more involved in lacrosse, Go find your local clubs. I believe that's going to be a penalty on Sweden. Pretty tough behind the back check there. 
So we can have a little bit of a closer look at that. Oh, okay, slow mo a little bit too late. So, but the Finnish player seems to be all right, getting up again. So no big deal. And we have Finland player number four, August Snyder, taking a little bit of a break. Maybe doesn't want to hang out with his teammates on the bench, but just wants to have his own personal seat over there, enjoying the game from a little bit of a different perspective. Um, while the Swedish teammates are back in defense again. And um, now we can just really have a look. Have a look at what Team Finland has in this power play. And playing the ball around nicely, really having the open guy. Sweden not pressing out the ball. Easy finish for Finland on the right far post. Increasing the score. 17-3 with only 50 seconds left in the game. So the clock's just going to wind down. And I think that'll be it for the game. Um, so we saw an exciting game. Uh, it'll be interesting to see also for other teams in this competition, like Germany, Czech Republic, England, uh, Scotland, Ireland, um, who will be likely the opponents of this Finnish team later on in the tournament. What they can take away from the game footage here I mean, Finland really pressing out a lot in transitions, I think really applying a lot of pressure. But let's also keep in mind that um, the other venue, the indoor venue, where most of the quarterfinal and semifinal and final games will be played, um, has a larger ring. So uh, it'll be more difficult for this Finnish team um, to press out that much. And we see some good sportsmanship. Finnish team just rolling the ball in the corner. Finishing off this game, congratulations to Finland on a 17-3 win for Sweden. But nevertheless, I think, again, like with all games, great sportsmanship by both teams. And um, really showing really showing some high quality. Well, we can take a closer look um, at the two teams just huddling up and then ready for their shaking hands, which is obviously something that the teams do regardless of the score. My name is Simon. I thank you for watching the team here behind the cameras and on the, on the stream, the officials and the bench personnel for the game. We'll look forward to see you back a little bit later today um, for the game of the Netherlands uh, meeting Team Switzerland here. Um, and so stay tuned following um, EBLC 2022 online or on social media. We look forward to have you there. Take care. I'm off. We'll just watch the shake hands and then a little bit of commercial and then we're off the stream. So thank you very much for tuning in and see you later. Better isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's a journey. Yeah. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game.
great. But what didn't work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. And it's never done. Better isn't a destination, it's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what didn't work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game. Thank you.